Orangu Chaksos, my dear families, my dear friends, my children, I thought uh, to be with you. Uh, unfortunately, this is a live recording. It's a recording because at 12 noon I will be in the cemetery praying for, for some families. So it is at this moment that I am praying for a disease as you are praying for me, these Stations of the Cross. All right. Uh, as we will meditate the last hours of the life of Christ before he dies, before he accepts the cross as the plan of his Father, it's important that we may not uh, get distracted, that we do this moment of prayer seriously, because it's a very important time of our lives. Never before have you lived a situation like this. And it's important to know where you are standing. And what is your security? And I invite you to let your security be the Father, as it was for Jesus Christ. So as we, reach, as we read each station, let us see Christ in his agony. Let us picture it in our hearts and minds. Let us surrender to the will of the Father as Jesus accepted this mission because he trusted the Father. And so our burdens, our fears, our sadness, let us uh, hand it over to the Lord. I invite you to pray with me. Now, for every single station, I will first name the station. Second, I will do the, the initial prayer, which goes like this. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. And you will respond, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I repeat, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Your response, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And every time we do it, we kneel. Eh? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Muy bien, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I beg you to accompany these families back home as we meditate on the last hours of Christ as he embraces the cross, carries it, and in his pain, he does not doubt you, Father. Help us to meditate as we also uh, learn to pray and learn to lean on you, Father. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's begin. In this the first station, we contemplate Jesus condemned to death. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We may have been condemned by others, not by our fault. We may have been hurt. We may feel unwanted and not loved with many burdens. Let us offer them all to Jesus Christ. With him, we can live through all these moments. Especially now that you stay at home, let us turn to Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this second station, we contemplate Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us remember the times when we had to carry our cross, because we have sinned and we regretted it. Because of sickness, especially now, that we fear it. Because of pain, worries, and despair, for the moments we have felt abandoned and lonely or guilty because of our thoughts and words, or we have begun to experience the loss of a loved one, or the difficulties with money, the financial struggles. 
Look at Christ as he bore the cross, as he embraces the cross. Let us ask for the gift of patience that we may look forward to God who provides. No tengáis miedo. Don't be afraid. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, the third station, we contemplate Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us remember the first time we sinned, or even the last time we sinned, when we have given into temptation, we have fallen, we have doubted the love of God. Let us contemplate how Christ goes down to our sin, out of pity, out of love for God and out of love for us, He comes down to our dirt. Let us not despair, because Christ will stand up again. Let us then ask for forgiveness and trust in His mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, the fourth station, we contemplate Jesus meets His Mother. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us remember our heavenly mother, Mary, she who gave birth to Jesus and raised him on this earth. And let us believe that our heavenly mother is a powerful intercession. She can pray for us, intercede for us, and obtain for us all the graces we need for this life. Let Mother Mary be our comfort and our strength during this journey. Yes, children, my friends, my brothers and sisters, let us know that we have a Mother in Heaven. Our Father who art in Heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in Heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, the fifth station, we contemplate how Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross, to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When we were burdened with our cross, when the cross was too heavy for us to carry, Jesus would have sent someone into our lives to help us go through, to help us carry it. Yes, it may have been your, your parents, eh? your older siblings, even sometimes the younger ones too. 
in the family, maybe your husband, your wife, your friend, even a stranger. Yes, can we recognize the times the Lord has sent us help? Or even now in this moment, we fail to see his work in us. No, Jesus will never abandon us. He who went through this ordeal and sufferings for our sake, let us turn to him in hope. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, the sixth station, we contemplate how Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us now remember our families, our friends, those who are with you at home, praying with you, praying for you. Those who are far from you because of this moment, of this crisis. Let the Lord come to comfort us. May he send loved ones eh, by prayers, by, by his intercession to help us in these painful times. And let us also pray for them. Let us pray for our parents, our children, our friends. May the Lord help us to comfort one another. Veronica means the true icon, the true face. Okay? Everyone who comes to help a, a little one bears the marks of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now turn to our next station. In this, the seventh station, we contemplate Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We often feel sorry and repent for our sins, and yet we fall again into temptation. We forget everything pretty soon. Then, yes, many times we have returned to our sinful lives, falling even into greater sins. Let us not despair, because Christ once again comes down to our sin, comes down to our poverty, again to our dirt. Let us surrender our hearts to the Lord, and let us ask for a truly repentant heart, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, 
We have beautiful stations, right? In this, our eighth station, we contemplate Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Let us be compassionate and merciful to the people around us. It's difficult to love and to bear your brother when you live with him the whole time. No, brothers and sisters, let us open our eyes to their suffering, to the suffering of your parents, to the difficulty of your siblings. Look, as Jesus was going through this suffering, he speaks and comforts the women of Jerusalem. Let our hearts reach out to other sinners to announce the mercy of Christ, the mercy of the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou most women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, our ninth station, we contemplate Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let this be the last time we sin. Let us make our hearts strong in Christ. Let us pray for him and to him. For his endurance. For his perseverance. How he fights against Satan and his temptation. Yet he comes down again to fetch us. To raise us up. Yes, brothers and sisters. In this Friday of Lent. Let us. Come closer to the Lord. Let us fast, pray, and give the almsgiving of our time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, the ninth station, sorry, the tenth, the tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Surrender all those moments in your life which you wish that had never happened, all those memories that accuse you, Give them to the Lord. In the moments of embarrassment, the moments of grave sin, the moments where you have made others to hurt because of your words, in the moments where you felt abandoned and, and rejected and you gave in to hatred. All those moments, brothers and sisters, my children, my friends, let us give them to the Lord. Let Jesus Christ heal our wounds and our memories. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us give up our sinful life. Let all our sins, our pride, our envy, all our rebellious hearts and our lust, let it be nailed to the cross, to the body of Christ, Jesus who endures the burden of our sins as he is nailed to the cross, prays for us. O oh, my Jesus, how much you have loved me, how much you have loved us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the twelfth station, we contemplate how Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Everyone, brothers and sisters, children, on your knees, if you can, on your knees. Let the sinful man, let the son of Adam, let the old flesh die in Christ. Let it be nailed in the cross. O Christ, you who have died for our sake, give us the grace to die to our sins and to live a holy life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us stand and spiritually walk to the next station. The thirteenth station. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, you died for our sins and purchased for us the reward of eternal life. Let us always keep that in our minds. You, you should be, you are the, the only one, the only one who loves us, the only one who can give us hope, the only one who has ever loved you as you are with all your sins, with all your mistakes, the only one who has ever allowed you to sin because he respected you in all your freedom is Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this, the 14th station, we contemplate Jesus laid in the tomb. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us look forward to the eternal life that Jesus has offered us in our baptism. Let us desire this new nature to be able to give your own life as a gift for others, as Christ gave up his life for you. Oh Jesus, my life, my love, how much you have loved me, how much you have loved us. And let us pray also for the gift of a blessed and holy death. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And this, in front of the Blessed Sacrament, will be our fifteenth and last station. We thank you, Lord, because you entered death to destroy. You accepted to suffer my sin, our sins, to forgive us and give us new life. We bless you and thank you, Heavenly Father, because of your Son, Jesus Christ. He has resurrected. You have given eternal life. And you are present now in the church, in the sacraments, in the prayer of the church, in the community love of the brothers. Let us ask, brothers and sisters, that we may be, truly be part of the body of Christ, the church, as we pray for one another. Jesus, you became an example of humility, obedience, and patience. You walk all this way, bearing the cross for my sake, for our sake. Grant us that inflamed with your love, we may cheerfully take upon ourselves the yoke of the gospel and live our baptism to its fullness. Help us to go down to a reality of sin to reject it, to die to it, so as to raise back to life in Christ, in the new nature. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And for those of you who are interested and speak some Spanish, tonight, after you go back to sleep, before you go back to sleep, put the alarm, 3 a.m. of Saturday in time to pray with us at this channel of the YouTube or the Facebook.